Hey everyone, so this video is just a quick tutorial on how to install a Blink camera in your Nest Box. Uh, the Blink camera is pretty much one of the most popular cameras to use inside a Nest Box because it's wireless and the battery lasts a long time um, and you get night vision with it and it's motion activated and it's small enough to fit in your nest box so it's really one of the the most ideal cameras there are some people who use like wired cameras and and if you're managing a trail then you really want like a set of trail cameras instead but if this is for a backyard and you really want to see what's going on with your birds and you're worried about you know disturbing the nest the blink camera is a really cool thing and i i have a chickadee nest right now in another box and i don't have a camera installed and so i'm pretty bummed about that so uh in this video i'm just going to show you how to install it okay so you've got your nest box and you've got your blink camera and i also put the mount on it and that's very important so what you're going to do is open your box up and you're going to start to put your your blink in there and you're going to be a bit blind but what you'll do is uh, you will use your blink app that is on your phone and you'll go into the live view and as you're positioning you're going to end up starting to take photos so i'm going to try and demonstrate that okay so i've got um, my blink app open and you're going to start to position your camera and then you click, let me see if I can just show you really quick. There's a live view button. You gotta figure out which, which one you're using, but uh, there's a live view button it would be here and you're gonna push that and you're gonna start to position and get an idea of where in that box you're placing it. So I'm gonna push that button and I'm gonna start to position. And you want to make sure as you're, as you're feeling to, um, to make sure that the mount is like secure and flat on the roof. So once you decide like, oh, okay, that's a really good view and I don't really think you can see that and I'm sorry, but once you're happy with a the view, um, then what you'll do is you'll flip your box and uh, I'm gonna try and show you here. If you'll flip your box, and you know, it's probably gonna reposition a little bit, but at least you have a general idea. And the tools that you're gonna need, which I didn't talk about, and I'm sorry, is a screwdriver. I really like having an awl. Um, these are really easy to find at hardware stores, craft stores, and even antique shops. So if you really don't wanna spend a lot of money, um, you could probably find one, but that's gonna be harder to find. So I just recommend like going to Michael's or Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere like that, and you will find an awl. And it just has a good tip at the end, and that's really handy. So let me just kind of show you here. Uh, the Blink camera comes with the mount, so that's really helpful. And there's there's two spots on the mount where there would be screw holes. So once you find your positioning, um, you unhook your camera and you would put it in and, oh my goodness, this is hard as a one person job and I really can't demonstrate what I'm doing here. So let me try and do it this way. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see in here, but you would basically, I, I, can't, I can't do it that way, I've gotta move the camera. <laughs> Okay, so you're gonna have your um, your mount and you're just kind of gonna feel and you just wanna mark with the awl your holes. So you would use the awl and you're gonna get it in there and you're gonna feel for the little screw hole areas and you're just gonna drive the awl in there and push to get some starter holes going. And so once you have your holes marked, you can take everything out. And here is a really helpful trick. You do not wanna try and screw this in while your nest box is together because like just the maneuvering alone especially with how these i don't know if you can see this and i'm sorry if you can't but how these holes are um, angled it just makes it really hard so the trick is if you're lucky you have a nest box that has the the top screwed on and so you unscrew it so i'm gonna do that
and then you pop the lid off once they're all unscrewed it's that easy chatter so okay right here is one of the holes and right here is the other one so hopefully that's in focus and I'm so sorry if it's not but I've got my two holes here so I've got my mount and sorry for the screech the mount has screws and so I'm going to just place it and you know what what you can do is if you've marked your holes you can use your awl and just drive it a little bit deeper I like to do these tutorials without a screw gun because you know not everybody has one um, or knows how to use one and so it's pretty easy to use a screwdriver they're pretty easy to find so we'll do it that way but if you have a screw gun it goes a lot quicker and it's a lot easier I'm sorry for the the sound that's the screws um, I'll try and mute that or something but uh, yeah so you're just gonna screw this in Okay, so it's all screwed in. One nice thing too about this is uh, you can actually go on Amazon and get packs of these mounts. And then if you have multiple boxes, just install all the different mounts onto your boxes. And you can then, you know, if you only have one camera, you can exchange it out. But so what's gonna happen is uh, this is where it's gonna pop in here. So you just push it on until you hear it click real good and now your camera is on yeah so you can also position the camera once you know it's all in the box and everything so so now we're just gonna screw the lid back on really good and tight to make sure that nothing gets through So the last thing you'll want to do is position your camera and uh, the, the nice thing about that blink mount is it, it toggles and everything. So you'll use again your uh, live view and then I don't know if you, you can't really see what's going on there but I'm just going to watch and see. So I think, oh, I hope you can see this, but the way I have this is pretty good here because I can see the ground and I can kind of see the uh, wall where the hole is. So I'm happy with how that is. Installing a blink camera in a gabled nest box like this, especially one that has a side opening rather than a front opening just makes the process a little more difficult. What you're basically going to have to do is disassemble this nest box. So you would unscrew everything. Um, you don't want to do it though until you have taken your mount and with your camera and done the live view and, and kind of marked and positioned it. And here's a trick when you're trying to mark where you want your camera to be, especially if you can't get in there with an awl to mark it. Uh, I learned this from framing, but you take toothpaste and you would dot toothpaste on where those screw holes are and you would position it and it's going to leave some toothpaste behind and you get kind of a rough estimation of where to put your screw holes. So now you have your blank camera installed in your nest box and you can enjoy watching, you know, the mom and dad bring uh, nesting materials, watch how the nest um, is built, see that progress. Uh, watch as the babies hatch and fledge and 
it's just really cool, especially if you have kids too, or you know, if you're a school or library and you have a nest box. One thing I will say is if you are putting up a nest box, make sure that you are inviting native cavity nesters and not invasive cavity nesters. That is very important. And that's another reason why we have these cameras installed in the boxes so that we can monitor what is going into our nest box and just make sure that we are conserving our native wildlife here in the US. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, definitely please hit that like button. It helps me out, um, helps get the content out there for other people to watch and discover and uh, hit that subscribe button to keep seeing more helpful bird content. Thank you all for watching.